Good afternoon, Simmers. Welcome back to The Ranch. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back, if apparently a little bit confused at what I'm doing at this computer. Now, today's going to be an interesting one because there's a few things that I want to do and they kind of relate to money. And it's thanks to a bunch of your comments that I even know to do half of this stuff because I've been reading the comments and I've been researching a little bit and I've seen some stuff that mentions that putting the nectar storage racks into a basement will help it age a little bit faster. So we're going to need money to get ourselves a basement. But I've also been wondering why exactly I'm not getting promoted. And it turns out it's because I've only been doing half of my job. So every time I go to this campfire, for example, and make a lifestyle review, we head over to the computer and that's great. This is going to help us level up the entrepreneur skill, which we don't really need to do right now, but it helps us do it. It gives us that skill and then we make a lifestyle review once the little task here in the bottom left is done. The thing is, I'm not posting that review. So where is it going? Well, it's going into my inventory. I've got five of them just sitting here right now. So we need to upload each and every one of these. Uploading them will give me more followers and it also lets me complete my daily task. So I'm just going to go through each of these and upload every single one of them. And while I'm here, I'm also just going to sell stuff that I don't need. I, I'm not even going to look at what most of this stuff is. I'm just going to get rid of it because honestly, I really like a nice clean inventory. I can't play. There's a reason I can't play games like Tarkov. I know that's completely like there is no overlap in the Tarkov audience and the Sims audience. Well, there's maybe like a little bit, but I can't deal with games that have super messy inventories. It just really, really bothers me. So I want to get this thing cleared out. I want to upload all of these things. It's going to be good for work. It's going to be good for performance. And then once that's done, I need to fix the toilet. I need to bath the dogs. I need to go brush the uh, the sheep. I need to brush the goat, the cow. I need to clean out the shed. Oh, there's so much to do. So let's start going down the list. Coda needs a bath. So that's going to be thing number one. Barney, I think, also needs a bath right now. No, he's actually he's doing OK. So Coda needs a bath. We'll get that done. Thing number two is going to be to fix the toilet and then we want to mop the floors. Thing number, I guess, four is going to be to go ahead and clean out the shed and then refill the feed so that the cow is nice and happy. Uh, we also want to go and probably scatter some feed nearby. What are you yelling about? Quit your yelling. Quit your, <laughs> quit your yelling. It's enough of that. It's nighttime. It's not, it's not morning. Quit your yelling. Let's, let's have less of that. All right. So this thing, we're going to scatter some feed nearby. Uh, we'll also clean this so that it's, you know, it's doing all right and they're they're nice and happy. Uh, you are relatively clean right now and apparently my queue is full. So what we'll do is have Marianne get home from work. We'll milk you for simoleons. We will also clean you. And then I need to find the sheep. I've got no idea where the sheep is. So I guess what we'll do while we're over here is, well, we can't empty that out. So that's totally, where is the sheep right now? Oh, there he is. All right, let's go to you. We will do exactly the same thing. We will shear for some wool. We can go ahead and clean you as well. And then when it comes to blue, blue is apparently just having a great old time. Let's, uh, can I click you without having to pause? I absolutely can. Let's brush your coat as well and just make sure that everybody's happy. And then by the time that's all done, we're going to go ahead and call over Chicken Nugget, which is the cow, and uh, make sure that Chicken Nugget's nice and happy. And for God's sake, Harry, Harry. That's, that's, you need to stop playing in trash, little fella, is what you need to stop doing. You're going to need a bath. It's the horse eating the trash. No, I think the horse is telling off the dog. That's fine. <laughs> that's, I was going to get really annoyed there. And as I thought, the cow is kind of filthy. So let's go ahead and clean Chicken Nugget a little bit, who is apparently starving right now. So it's going to be a good thing that, uh, well, hopefully we can go ahead and refill the feed in here to make sure the cow is actually fed. It's not exactly ideal that the cow is sitting there all hungry. So there we go. We've got feed there. I am going to need a shower. I absolutely do. Harry still needs a bath, which is a bit of a problem. I also need grub. Man, that was a busy day. That, I feel like I did nothing. I mean, I did nothing. Sims did a lot, but yeah, that was <laughs> that was actually a really busy day. Let's also refill their uh, their feeders just to make sure that the animal's nice and happy. And can I do that whilst also carrying my food? I absolutely can which is great news. So in theory, everyone should be happy enough, right? We'll 
Harry maybe less so because he's filthy. So I think what we'll do is we'll bath him just because, you know, we, we might as well get that out of the way or apparently, or can we bath him? Hello? Can we, can we bath the small dog, please? There we go. We'll go pick him up. We'll put him in the bath and uh, that should be good. Does Marianne need a shower? Do we both need a shower? Oh, we both need a shower. We both kind of stink. Oh, the egg that was in, uh, incubated in the coop is ready to hatch. Have blue use. Okay, blue is a horse. Let's not get carried away here. Blue is a horse. We are absolutely going to hatch some eggs here because I reckon having a little chicken there is going to be adorable. But blue is a horse. All right. And also, speaking of blue, I discovered a cheat. There's a cheat you can enable that allows you to shift click on basically any sim and modify and create a sim. So that's probably what I'm going to do to age blue up. There is an item that you can get. I can't remember exactly what it is. I read about it. You can get an item that'll do the same job, but because the reason blue isn't aging up is because I've just got it turned off in the options because I don't want my animals to die. I'm just going to use the cheat. So I think what I'll do is once blue gets maxed out on temperament, we'll go ahead and age blue up a little bit. And I'm probably also going to get rid of the pink mane and tail. Maybe. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that one. Maybe that's kind of Blue's characteristic. Maybe Blue has been named, ironically, you know, it's called the horse Blue despite the pink mane and tail. That's that's what I'm thinking. Also, why is there a gnome? Oh, God. It's, I mean, it's a harvest fast. And apparently, we have to give respect and gifts to the friendly gnomes in the hope of festive rewards. To participate, find gnomes around your lot, click on the gnomes, and appease the gnomes. Oh, there's gnomes everywhere. There are gnomes everywhere. We've been invaded by the gnomes. I don't. Oh, dear. All right. Let me uh, let me move you. We'll let you live there. Is there another one? Have we just got two of them? Am I missing one? I better not be missing one. Hey, what is this? Wait, isn't that a trash plant? Can't I? I can harvest this, right? And then I can use this to make trash. Oh, I can make. That's going to be good, actually. I can make trash uh, nectar, which I probably shouldn't be. Blue's chick hatched on its own. What do you mean Blue's chick? Blue is a horse. Blue is a horse. Blue's chick didn't hatch anything on its own. I mean, the chick did, yes, but it's a horse. Uh, anyway, let's scatter some feed nearby so they actually have food. And here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. As much as I love doing all this work around the ranch, we do also need to make money and we need our Sims to focus on their own careers and their own lives. And we also need them to, you know, be able to look after their own animals, such as... Coda, who is filthy right now. So we'll get Coda bathed. But I think what I'm going to do is go into home. I'm going to go to hire a service. And I think we're going to get ourselves a ranch hen. So it's going to be 100 simoleons per day plus 12 simoleons per hour. I'm pretty sure ranch hands work from like seven to seven. So basically 220 simoleons per day. Now that's that's a lot of money. It's music's also just constantly on. It's really annoying me. It's oh my God. The gnomes are oh God. Hold on a minute. I I need you guys to not be right there. You're kind of blocking the entire house. So we'll put these guys outside and I think what we'll do is appease them as well. So we'll give this one coffee. We'll give this one uh, some fruitcake and we'll give this one some pie. That seems like a good idea. So let's go ahead and get a ranch hand hired which is going to be absolutely fantastic. That's going to mean that all of the animals get looked after, which is exactly what we need. The gnomes, ooh, I don't think that one actually enjoyed what I gave him. Neither did that one, which is fine. We did get given some seasonal winter plants, though. So I'll take those, which is better than nothing. And I'm assuming you are my ranch hand. All right. So what's, what's your name? This is Masami. All right. You're also taking out... Wait, do you basically work as a maid? Is that? Oh, all right. All right. So, I mean, if the ranch hand, the ranch hand is also, <laughs> the ranch hand is watering my, uh, my trash plants. I don't know how I feel about that, but regardless, are you going to like, wait, are you going to just work as you do just work as a maid? Oh, all right. I mean, I'm completely fine with that. You're good with animals, plants and repairs. Let me know and I'll handle it. This ranch is going to run like a well-oiled machine. Oh, and if you want me to harvest plants or pick up manure, just ask. Otherwise, I'll leave it to you. I want to make sure that's what you'd want. You never know. All right. So can I can I get you to do that? 
So ranch hands, assign chores, gardening, livestock, repairs, etc. Ask to collect manure? I guess that's a... Why, 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 is, why is so much stuff broken around here? Why is the sink broken now? Let's get that thing fixed because we kind of can't have a broken sink. That's not exactly ideal. We also need to empty this out. And I'm assuming the rent, you know what? I'm going to go fill this as well. Just being, just to make sure the horse and everyone else gets fed. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I mentioned the fact that a basement is going to be good for nectar, right? We do need one. We do need a basement because I'm going to have nectar production kind of be a big deal. So my thinking is we're going to go here and we're going to collect all finely aged nectar bottles. So if we do that and I open my inventory down here, let me also just clear out some stuff that we don't need. What is this? This is a strawberry nectar not yet aged, so we'll put it in there. We'll go ahead and just sell the rest of this junk that we have sitting around. This is probably worth nothing. That's totally fine. So we'll just clean that up. Uh, but grabbing the finely aged stuff. Oh, my God. OK, so we have 2,646 Somalians for that strawberry nectar. We have 1,155 for that apple nectar. The same for that one. We have 2,310 for that grape nectar. The same with that one, 250 or 415, and some finely aged potato. Oh my God. So we are about to make a lot of money. So building a basement, I think, is actually going to be completely doable. Good Lord. It turns out nectar is absolutely worth making. All right. I, <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this easy. But uh, sure, let's let's build a basement. Here's the thing. I'm not really too interested in expanding this uh, this ranch too much. I don't want to go too crazy with expansions. I just want a little bit of access to a basement and I'm going to make it kind of old school. So it's going to be sort of like an outdoorsy thing. And so what I mean by that is I'm just going to sort of move these plants and rocks over a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, this thing just around the corner to about, say, that spot. I'm going to have to get rid of this window, which is kind of annoying. But then what I want to do is I want to just get myself a little bit of a platform. So this guy right here is going to live right about there. We're going to bring in a little bit and I'm hoping I can get away with what I want to do here. So we'll bring it back like this. I want to grab the thing there just so that matches and I want to get myself some walls. So this is basically where our stairs are gonna go so the outside of this kind of needs to uh kind of needs to match this also needs to match down here so it looks like a little bit of an extension and i want the same wood paneling that we have everywhere else so just like that with the same wood flooring as well and then my thinking is that i need a rustic looking door for the back of this and we have some good oh that's a little bit big we have some choices i might uh, i might struggle a little bit to get this to match exactly perfectly but i'll find something in just a second because what i also need is a set of stairs and these ones are kind of perfect i was hoping i could get them right up against this but i don't think that's gonna be an option so i might have to do like a little i might have to do a little something something here i don't i don't love that that does look kind of terrible can i ch at least change the color of them no I can do it this way, though, which might look better. Ugh. I don't know about any of this. That one kind of matches. It matches the siding of the house or the, the logs in the house. So I guess I'm OK with that. Uh, is this how I want to do this? Is this where I want to do my uh, <laughs> is this where I want to do this nonsense? I think it is. I think this is this is how we're going to do it. And then very simply, we need a basement that's going to go underneath all of this. I mean, it's not going to be anything crazy. It's really not, but we just need a room. And there we go. I think this is a decent little addition to the back of the ranch. This window basically leads to just the stairway. I don't love that, but it's the best I could do. It does mean that the bedroom is now missing a window above the bed, which is a bit unfortunate, but I think that's just going to have to be the way of things. We also have this useless space here at the back that I might be able to put something on eventually. But I think now we just need to go down here and this is our basement. Now, what I'm going to do with this is grab just the same log siding that we have everywhere. It's going to be absolutely everywhere here. Same with the uh, the hardwood flooring. Exactly the same story. 
And then I also want to go upstairs and I want to just grab this uh, this lantern because I absolutely love how this thing looks. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We'll do one right there. We'll do one right there. And do I want to do a couple on these walls as well? I think I do. I think right about there is just fine. It does look a little dungeony. I'll be honest. It's it's a little it's a little dungeony. But what we can do is go ahead and just move these guys. How do I how do I, how do I move something down? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy them. I'm just gonna copy them. Is what I'm gonna do because I think I've got move objects on right now and it's causing some weirdness. So what we'll do is put this guy here and. I'm just going to get a few of them, I think. So we'll do this. They're not too expensive, which is good. And then this middle one is uh, one I'm going to need to figure out the control to uh, raise and lower things. Because for the life of me, I don't remember what it... Oh, no, it's on the ground. Oh, wait, no, no, it is very much floating. Actually, given that these things are relatively cheap, we'll just do this with them. So we'll have the racks that have stuff in them already on the left there. And the rest of these, I doubt we're ever going to fill them. But we might as well give it a shot. And here's here's what I'm thinking with this space down here. It's very it feels almost like a man cave in a way. And I'm so tempted to put a bar down here. I am so tempted to put a bar in this space. I think it would look so cool to have a bar down here. I'd be a little bit much. I feel like this is one of those things that like if, if this was <laughs> if this was like a real project, right? If this was one of those things that like in in real life, <laughs> I turn around, it's like, I'm building a bar. Or no, it's not I'm building a bar. It's I'm build, We're building a basement, right? It's like, okay, cool. We're building a basement. It'll be good for storage. And it's like, yeah, that's what it'll be good for. And it's like, what do you mean? No, don't worry about it. And then, you know, a couple of months later, you've, you've done the renovation. You've got the basement. It's like, what are you going to put down there? I'm going to make it a bar. What do you mean you're going to make it a bar? So we can't afford that. Well, it's already paid for. <laughs> so it's already happening. Don't, don't worry about it. It's already happening. It's, uh... I feel like that's how I get in trouble is uh, is what that is. Also, how do I put railings on stairs? I don't know how to play The Sims. I'm ashamed to say I really for the life of me don't remember how The Sims works. It's really been a hot minute. This is what I'm looking for. That looks amazing. All right. I think we're just going to leave this as a little space for nectar for now. I, I'm not made of money. I don't want to get too carried away. I think this looks pretty good. I'm also going to move this thing because it's uh, it was a little bit close to everything there. So we'll just move it back a little bit. And that looks all right. I'm 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 kind of OK with this. We just need more nectar now. So when it comes to ingredients, I think what we'll do is get ourselves 12 strawberries. That seems like a good idea. That'll be four bottles of that. Uh, strawberry seems to be the most expensive one, I want to say. So we'll try that out. I'm also going to buy three lemons because I can't remember if we do anything with those. And we'll craft some nectar. We have the option for strawberry. Fruit nectar, I just need level five for. Energy nectar is lemons and herbs. I also don't have the skill for that. Uh, and prairie grass nectar is probably not a bad one either. But we'll just start with the strawberry. And I'm going to see if I can stack up a few of these. Because in theory, like I said, I should be able to make four bottles of that. So we'll give that a shot and see if it levels me up relatively quickly. I'm kind of hoping it does. We're actually pretty close to leveling up, which is good. So we'll get me doing that. And then Marianne over here, what do you need right now? Because I have not been looking at your needs as much as I should have been. You are not currently in a werewolf pack. All right. That's really, really, it's <laughs> really not what I was really not what I was looking, looking for there. I wasn't really looking for information on werewolves. Um, Have I messed up this room? I feel like I've messed up this room a little bit. Interesting. Let's uh, let's mop this up and let me just see if I can fix that wall. Yeah, I've got no idea. I've got I've got no idea. I tried fixing it. I tried moving things around. It just doesn't want to behave. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to clean this place up a little bit. There is stuff sitting everywhere. I don't want the books in my inventory. I want to just put them away is what I want to do. I also want to get these gnomes out of here because I really don't. I don't care. I don't care for the gnomes sitting everywhere. Uh, Coda looks like he needs a bath again. So we'll bathe the dog real quick. And then Marianne's needs are largely okay, which is good. It also looks like I am working my way through all of these bottles of nectar, which is also fantastic. My needs are doing pretty good too, so no complaints there. The animals seem happy enough too, which is absolutely fantastic. 
so like I said, I think it's going to be a case of whenever Blue's temperament is kind of maxed out, we'll go into create a sim. We can age him up a little bit. We'll see how that goes. And hopefully that's going to go really well. I'm also kind of hoping that I can level up my uh, my nectar making skill here just to level four. Doesn't necessarily look like it's going to happen on this one, although there is a chance. However, slim and I didn't. All right. Well, that's fine. That's uh, that's totally OK. Let's just head downstairs and we'll go ahead and store all non finely aged nectar bottles down in the uh, in the basement, which I can get down into. I absolutely can. So we'll store them in there. We don't have any finely aged ones there, so we'll not worry too much about it. And I'm kind of hoping that I can max out my nectar because I think the the higher level I am, the faster it goes. And if it goes super, super fast, that's going to be super, super good. So hopefully that's a thing we can do. Also, I thought we were cleaning things up here. I guess we're not. Let me go and clean things up myself, I guess, just to make sure that the place is actually nice and clean because it is... It is filthy. Why am I not cleaning up? Pick it up. Don't just don't know. Don't set it down again. No, nah, that's not how that works. Clean it up. Come on. We also broke. Oh, my God. Why? What are you doing? Go and clean up the mess. The place is filthy. Clean it up. Quit just standing around staring at it. Oh, my God. You are useless. I'll do it myself. I'll put them in the sink myself. Good Lord. I realize I'm calling myself Sim useless. I, I'm allowed to do that. Okay. That's how this I'm genuinely <laughs> I'm genuinely getting kind of mad at the Sims right now. I'm not gonna Can these gnomes get out of here? Leave! I'm not interested in what you're selling. Leave! I'm ending the harvest fast. I don't care about the gnomes. Get lost. Can I sell them? Is that a thing I can do? Can I I can. I can I'm selling the gnomes. I don't care for them. I don't want them. I don't need them. They're gone. All right. Now, dust bunny. Let's uh, let's step on the dust bunny. Let's uh, let's clean this up. Let's get the robo cleaner to start moving around the place a little bit so that we can hopefully keep this place nice and uh, nice and clean. Right. That's the goal. Are you begging for food? Ninja, you better not. You are begging for food. We'll have less of that fella. We will, we will have less of, or no, apparently we, why will they not do anything that I tell them to do? It's like, hey, go and tell the cat to stop begging for food. Nah, I'm out. Hey, go and clean up the house. Nah, dog, I'm gonna break the radio. <laughs> this is getting really frustrating. Who are you? Who is this? Don Gooseman. What do you want? <laughs> wait, you're my, oh, you're the, wait. Are you my ranch hand? Who are you? Why? Why are you here? Um, let's go say howdy, I guess, is what we'll do. I've got no idea who he is or why he's here. He does look a bit like Sam Elliott, though. Like, he really, I kind of like the must. I kind of want the mustache. I might have to go for a mustache. I'm also getting fat. I wasn't this fat. <laughs> I wasn't this fat when I made the sim. I think I'm putting, wait, can you? Can you put on weight? Does Sims put on weight if you don't exercise? I feel like Sims put on weight if you don't exercise. I think I'm discovering a lot of things about The Sims 4. <laughs> I don't know that I like it. I'll be real with you. I don't know that I like the fact that I'm getting fat. I play video games to get away from reality. You what? Right, you're walking in here exhausted. That's fine. He doesn't really like us. He's just taking my books. He's just setting it on the table. Buddy, are you going to read the book or are you just going to leave it there? You're taking another book. That's cool. What are you doing with that book? Are you going to read it? No, you're going to set that on the table as well. Buddy, would you would you mind not <laughs> would you mind not doing that? I'm just going to take my you know what? <laughs> we're going to we're going to wake up and tell you to leave. You need to go home. All right? You need to leave. I'm pretty sure it's his I think I just saw a birthday cake. I'm wondering if it's this guy's birthday. I don't care what it is. I'm not having someone come into my house at 11.40 p.m. and start setting books on the table without reading them. All right? I can't stand it when my own sims do that, so we're, we're, we're not about that life. Now, I've got work in about an hour. We are 100% going to be going to work because I've done all of my tasks, so I think I am actually just off to work. Fantastic. We also have some seeds sitting around here. I'm going to take those because I just want them. 
and uh, they might come in useful at some point. What is this? What is night on the town? What is what is what is this all about? What do you want to do? Free food and drinks. Local businesses want to show some customer appreciation by offering free food and drinks. It's time to get out of the house and visit a venue. We might do that. We might do that because I'm fairly sure, although not certain, but just fairly sure that I might get promoted today, which would be fantastic. Now, let's have a look at what's going on with Marianne. She is hungry. She needs some fun. That's all right. Why is Coda filthy again? Why are you fil- Wait, why, what, do I, what do I hear leaking? Something's broken and I don't know. Oh, I broke the bath. How did I break the bath? And why didn't I get promoted? What the hell? Oh, man. All right. I need to review something. Let me, uh, what am I, what am I doing with the barn? Clean shed. All right. We can, can I post a lifestyle review of this thing? I can, we can woohoo in it again. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. I think what we'll do is we will clean it out. We'll go and make a lifestyle review of the nectar maker. And then I guess we'll post it. That'll be my daily task. And hopefully at that point, I'll get promoted. Now, there is some good news. I have just leveled up to level four at nectar making, which I think means I can now make energy nectar if I can get some herbs. We're going to have to look into that. Ideally, we're going to grow them ourselves, but I don't know if that's something we can do. I'm assuming it is. I'm 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 assuming that's a thing. I just, again, I don't know enough about The Sims 4 to know whether or not that is a thing. I'm just kind of assuming. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to try and get my sim into a bit of a better mood and then maybe him and Marianne could go on a bit of a date, maybe take advantage of the fact that there's free food being given out. And hopefully that'll make sure that they're just a little bit happier. They're doing some stuff together. They're spending this holiday or festival or occasion or whatever it is together just doing stuff. I'm also thinking my sim might need to sign up for a gym. The issue with that, though, is that they are both kind of tired. So going anywhere is maybe not the best idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. And honestly, what better place to go to than the Rusty Horseshoe? This is a nightclub is what this is, and I'm kind of here for it. So we're going to cowpoke group dance is what we're going to do. We're, we're going to come over here and have a grand old time. And hopefully, oh, look at that. <laughs> I love, I love everything about this. Oh, I love everything about this. So what do we need to do? Get out of the house and visit a venue. Haven't we, does this not count as a venue? You know what? I don't care if this counts as a venue. I'll be honest with you. I just don't care. I, am, <laughs> I love this so much. I really do. You know what we need? We need some food and it's all free. So give me, give me some fish and chips. Let's stop dancing for a second. Let me get some fish and chips. That seems like an amazing idea. That seems like an absolutely perfect idea. So there we go. Give me, give me, give me some of that fish and chips. We visited the venue. Marianne's visited the venue. There is a ladder here. There's, there, well, hold on. What's upstairs? I forgot that ladders were a thing. I probably could have used some ladders from my basement, but I just, I don't know. I mean, this place is clearly supposed to be a barn. Right. So I don't think ladders for my basement would make all that much sense. I do really like the idea, though. If we don't. St oh, what is this? That's a really I love the look of that grill. I need one of those. What I was going to say was if we don't stay in the ranch that we're in right now, I might. Well, we might. We might stay there. I might stay on the land. I might bulldoze the house at some point, though, and build a barn and then sort of renovate the barn into a house so it's all open plan like this that seems like it would be kind of an amazing idea also is this planned wedding event get married oh we could just have them elope and get married right now i don't know if i want to do that right here though I, we might we might hold off on that one i don't want them to necessarily elope i do want to see if i can can i can i write a lifestyle review about anything in here is that is that an option? Is that a thing we can we can do? We can slow dance together. Night on the town successful. Beautiful. So they're both happy about that, which is exactly what we're looking for. Anyway, a quick outfit change and a bit more dancing later. I think we might want to go home because I'm fairly sure they're both. Well, Marianne kind of stinks. She's a little bit tired. She needs the bathroom. And then me, 
I'm exhausted and I have work in an hour. It's definitely time to go home. Oh, now this is weird. I'm, I'm still on this lot, despite the fact that none of my Sims are here. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really, really sure why. I did get promoted. I'm now making more money, which is great. I, I've got no idea why it didn't teleport me back home though. Like the Sims left. I've just been abandoned. And so I guess now that they're home, it's probably only fair to let them kind of chill a little bit. Even if Indy's gonna sit there and yell and scream and do what he does best. So let's see, it's 11.55 AM. My Sim is pretty exhausted. So we'll have him go and nap for a little bit. Marianne is in a better spot. So let's have her go out and we could have her craft stuff. I don't really think we need to. She's largely doing just fine. So I guess she's going to go and just play some stuff at the computer, which is all right by me. She, well, this is quality excellent. Eight hours until spoiled. Can we just put this away for now? I guess we'll just put it in the fridge and hope it doesn't go off. We'll put this, uh, this book over here because apparently at this point I need to put things away because they won't and I'm also wondering if I can get a TV in here I want to give them more stuff that's going to be more fun for them to do and use because this radio it's really really starting to annoy me it's really I love that like it has trivium on it it has some great songs on it but man it's starting to annoy me it's really really annoying that it's always on so we'll turn that off is what we'll do Let's also get the robot to go around and start a cleaning routine just to make sure that the place is, you know, not all too dusty. We can maybe go and refill the uh, the pet bowls as well. And I'm noticing that we don't seem to have, we don't have a ranch hand around today, which is a little bit worrying, but I guess probably not the end of the world. Although this is filthy, so... It'd be nice if we had a ranch hand around. I feel like we should have a, a, a ranch hand around. I guess we just, I guess they just haven't bothered to show up today. Oh my God, this is filthy as well. Okay, you know what? We might need to, hmm, from loyal sim cheating on partner. Wait a minute, what? What? What did she do? Hello? When did this happen? Confess cheat. Hello? I'm z I have been watching these Sims like a hawk. They've never had all that much autonomy. When that, that what? Uh, am I jealous? I mean, I I would be. Yeah, I'd be kind of annoyed, but I don't want I don't It didn't happen. It didn't there was there was nothing. Um, no, I'm not going to say I'm jealous. I befriended. Hold on. Looks like I befriended a romance enthusiast. Romance enthusiast of a flair for the romantic. Da, 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 da. In terms of sim preferences, would I say that I like romance? And sure. Yeah, I don't want them. They're not. I don't want them to be annoyed with each other, though. I don't. I don't want them to be. Like, I don't because it didn't happen. It, it didn't happen. I don't. Oh, man. What? I'm too sad to do this. How long am I going to be sad? For three days? Three days? Really? Get out of here with that. I have watched these Sims like a hawk. Nothing. It was absolutely... There's, <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. Get out of here. Let's apologize in bed. I don't know what, I don't know what my Sims apologize. I don't know what either of them's apologizing for, but they can apologize in bed is what they can. Wait, no. Are they gonna? Are they not? Apparently not. Interesting. Wait, why are they in? Oh my God. Hold on. Right. Go use the bathroom. All right. We'll start with that. Oh my God. The game, game does not know what it's doing right now. We'll go and do that. What is, what is she upset about now? Oh my God. What? <laughs> I don't understand what happens. I've got no idea. Man, this game is a roller coaster. It is an absolute roller coaster. I don't even understand how things happen. I, like I said, I've been watching them like a hawk. It makes no sense, but it's fine. 
It didn't happen canonically. I control their story. I'm telling you right now, nothing happened. The game's just being weird. And so with that in mind, I think we'll just go ahead and leave it there for today. We got ourselves a basement. I got promoted. We're making some progress. And I think we're going to have to plan a wedding. I do. I think we're going to have to plan a wedding and figure out exactly when that's going to be. But that's something we can do in a future episode. For the time being, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.